We've got our eighth of piece or one eighth pieces of 500 milligram tablets of vitamin C, which is 62 and a half grams of ascorbic acid, which is more than enough to treat two cups of water. It, in fact, it should be enough to treat a whole quart of water or one liter. So we're going to drop it one ascorbic acid tablet, one eighth of an ascorbic acid tablet into our chlorine, chlorine treated water and cap it. Drop one eighth of a 500 milligram tablet of ascorbic acid into our iodine treated water and cap it. And drop one eighth of a 500 milligram ascorbic acid tablet into our unchemically treated but boiled water and cap it. Now the process is the same as when you're chemically treating the water and that is just shake them up. Now with the chlorine you, you don't have to use ascorbic acid to get a better flavor if you've got the time. You can leave it in an uncapped uh, container and chlorine being a gas therefore lighter than air and water it will over time evaporate off. And that could take anywhere from a couple hours to a whole day. So even if you just left this uncapped overnight you would have clean pure tasting water that wouldn't reek of chlorine. But give them one more good shake. Now what's happening is the ascorbic acid <coughs> excuse me what's happening is the ascorbic acid is make is oxidizing the iodine and the chlorine both and therefore neutralizing the flavor so the really bad off flavor that you have associated with over chlorinated water and iodine treated water is reduced greatly <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me and uh, practically eliminated now I've got this regular boiled water over here that I'm treating with ascorbic acid just to see if it would help with the off flavor of the water now this is this is clean pure purified water it's safe to drink but honestly it came from the Rock Creek and it tastes the exact same way that methane smells so that's not good uh, I don't know if you've ever smelled methane and just imagine what that possibly tastes like uh, that's what this water tastes like so now that our tablets are dissolving here we're going to uh, zoom the camera out a bit more and give them all a taste test we're going to compare the the uh, the chemically treated water that's not treated with ascorbic acid and compare it to the chemically treated water that's been treated with ascorbic acid and then we're going to compare the untreated unchemically treated boiled water with the unchemically treated boiled water treated with ascorbic acid just to see if it helps with the off flavor of it we're going to start out with our iodine treated water this is the iodine treated water that has not been treated with ascorbic acid for neutralization flavor. Pop this off here. Yep. That's iodine water alright. Safe to drink but not very tasty. Blech. This is the iodine treated water that has been treated with the ascorbic acid the vitamin C that's good that, that that's relatively good guys I mean that tastes like good good water I mean you could drink this and and uh, cook with it and have no off flavors that the ascorbic acid definitely worked well worth it <laughs> I mean yeah 
definitely toss either some of those neutralization tablets or some vitamin C tablets in your pack if you're purifying with iodine. It's, uh, it's definitely worth it. I mean, the flavor alone is terrific. Okay, now for the taste test on the chlorine treated water without the ascorbic acid. Whew, it smells like a city swimming pool. And it tastes about the same. Um, it's pure water, you, you, you can drink it, but um, it's going to taste like swimming pool water, guys. This is the, um, the chlorine treated water that's been also treated with the ascorbic acid to neutralize the, chlor the chlorine flavor. Give this bad boy a taste test. Wow, that's really good water. Yeah, that, that, that tastes better than the iodine treated with the ascorbic acid, honestly. I mean, that's, that tastes almost like Purell. Not Purell. Um, tastes about like bottled water. My neighbor over there honking his horn. Oh, crying out loud. Okay. This is the uh, the straight boiled water with no chemical treatment whatsoever. And we're going to give this bad boy a taste test. Yep. Ah. Uh, yeah. That still tastes kind of like methane, guys. Not too tasty. But once again, it's pure water and good to drink. So if you're out on the trail and you need to get rehydrated, definitely drink it. I mean, I'm sure if you had a, a pure water supply, it wouldn't taste like this. But this is a this is much less than palatable water. And now the boiled, untreated, chemically water that has had the ascorbic acid added to it this is the test right here guys to see if it helps with the off flavor and here we go amazingly it does help it helps a good bit actually it tastes like good pure filtered water so um yeah there you go, guys. Uh, ascorbic acid, vitamin C. Toss a bottle in your pack. Keep it with you. It really helps on the off flavors. I mean, I knew it would help with the iodine once I read the uh, neutralizing tablets of iodine was ascorbic acid. And I also knew it would help with the, with the bleach-treated water once I realized that the ascorbic acid would oxidize the bleach. But the... Uh, unchemically treated boiled water I wasn't sure about but uh, it does it helps with the off flavors in it too so uh, definitely toss a bottle in your pack keep some on you because uh, it could it definitely helps the taste of the water all right thanks guys um, I've got one more little experiment to try here and uh, so stick with me and we'll see how this one goes all right thank you guys all right, guys, we're back. As you know, I uh, boiled up a gallon of water, which gave us four quarts of water, and uh, we've went through three of them, which leaves our fourth experimental quart. I've went ahead and treated this with the iodine tablet. As you can tell, it's got that lovely off-brown iodine color. And we're now going to treat it, the whole quart, once again with one-eighth of a tablet which is more than enough of ascorbic acid to clarify it and neutralize it. Just like we did our regular iodine treatment. Now, what this experiment is going to be is just in case you are out there on the trail and you have both iodine and bleach and you decide, 
Well, if one's good, both's got to be better. That's not necessarily the case, guys. Because uh, this iodine-treated water right here with the ascorbic acid in it, as you can see, it's already started to clarify. Uh, the froth on the top, I'm sure, is due to the uh, other additives in the vitamin C tablet. So I'm not too concerned with that. It's an edible tablet. So it's all food safe. It's basically plant fiber and plant seric acid. So no big deal. So there we go. We've got our iodine treated water that's now been treated with the uh, ascorbic acid to clarify it and neutralize the off flavor. And now we're going to add some bleach to this. You know, just say we wanted to be doubly safe in the fact that our water is safe to drink. Now, if uh, my calculations are correct, one, two, and three drops of bleach. Now, if my calculations are correct, the bleach should react with the iodine and the ascorbic acid and unoxidize the iodine. And there we go. As you can tell, the iodine is back in the water. It's no longer clear. It is no longer neutralized. You have just wasted an ascorbic acid tablet because uh, the bleach has reacted with the iodine and unoxidized one another. Water that's been treated with iodine and then treated with the ascorbic acid to neutralize it and then retreated with the bleach. And it has given it back its lovely iodine color. And here comes the taste test. I'm dreading this one. Okay, right off the bat, it smells like butt. I mean, if you know what iodine water smells like, and you know what bleach water smells like, and it smells like the two mixed together, because, well, that's what it is. Bottoms up. Yeah. Oh, God. That is horrid. Yeah. So don't do that. <laughs> yeah. That was absolutely disgusting. I would rather drink the straight boiled water that tastes like methane. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate you watching another episode of Bub's Bushcraft. I hope this was of some use to you. Thanks, Bill. I mean, you gave me inspiration to do this little experiment. And it has been more than enlightening. enlightening. So, um, I appreciate it, man. Uh, so, my conclusion is, throw some ascorbic acid in your pack. Grab a, grab a bottle of vitamin C. Keep it with you. It, it really helps with the off taste of water. Uh, whether it be just straight boiled iodine treated or bleach treated water uh, it's great stuff just uh just don't use all three together <laughs> yeah definitely don't use all three together all right thanks for watching thanks to all my friends and subscribers I appreciate you all your your great encouragement and you guys are a terrific bunch of people and I'm I'm very blessed to be a member of the community here uh, of bushcrafters and I just appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and or subscribe. And we'll see you on the next episode. All right, y'all take care.